audience. Uh, today I would like to uh, give you some useful tips. Uh, if you like chinchilla and you would like to know how to um, differentiate uh, real chinchilla from Rex rabbit chinchilla, sometimes it's very hard to make you know to see the difference, especially if you buy it online. And uh, one of my wonderful clients thought that he bought a real chinchilla. Uh, he bought it online from a very good shop, but um, it was a chinchilla rex rabbit, which often is a very good fur as well and very stylish. The only thing is there is a dramatic difference in price between genuine chinchilla coat and um, the chinchilla rex rabbit that is essentially rex rabbit that is dyed and made look like chinchilla so first of all uh, at this moment i am wearing a real chinchilla true chinchilla win vintage chinchilla stole and i would like you to look at this very attentively and see um the print oh the print it's actually a <laughs> natural print so you can see that uh, it's wider in the middle of the pelt and then the darker color kind of narrows to the end from the side and narrows to the end from the other side because uh, this is a natural chinchilla uh, pelt so it's not dyed it's a natural color how it is and you will always see on a natural on a true chinchilla you will always see the wider part in the middle and narrowing down towards the ends. That is one of the best ones because even though they are doing a great job right now with um, coloring, dyeing the Rex Rabbit, they still make um, even stripe. It's an even dark stripe. It does not narrow towards the ends. So my second tip would be um, is that uh, you you can see chinchilla actually uh, does have some uh, it's more dimensional so it does ha if you look if you kind of look uh, from the side it has a little especially if you touch it it has uh, somewhat of dimension to it and also uh, between the pelts because uh, this is how the pelt goes. It's actually, you can feel the seam over here and here and here. On a rabbit, it's a straight line. They make uh, the pelt that way that even on the Bastrex rabbit, it's more of a straight, even line. So it does not actually have a seam in between them. It's more of a even, straight feeling. So you um, you will not see that um, you won't feel the ending of the pelt because here I can clearly see that you know this is how it is. And I want to say that uh, a lot of uh, Rex Chinchilla Rabbit they're making a fabulous job it looks amazing and unless you know all these little tricks unless you see that uh, unless you really examine that you might never know it's it was rex rabbit and maybe you would like to have a rex rabbit to not pay so much but if you going for a real thing i just want you to know the difference and um this one in my hands it's not the best, uh, you know, rabbit example of chinchilla, but you can see that it's not even close. You can see that this is just a print, you know, you can see this is just a print, you know, there is no dimension to it, um, there is no narrowing on the ends of the, um, of the dark lines. And just in general, you know, this is a lovely piece, but it's really, uh, you can see it right away. You can see right away the difference. So, and it's, a, you know, 
if you just uh, on a budget and you want to have a chinchilla, you can start with Rex Rabbit. There is, you know, nothing bad about it. But I just uh, want you to know, to be able to know what you're buying. Thank you so much, and let me know if you have questions.